is Max and welcome back to my channel. Tonight I have for you a massive, huge luxury haul. Um, and this is kind of like everything I've been gathering for spring. Now what I'm going to do guys is this is going to be part one of probably three videos and I'm going to shoot them all tonight and I'm going to post them all tonight. So I don't want the videos to be long. Um, so I'm going to do segments. Okay. So this first segment that we're actually going to do um, it's going to be little odds and end pieces that I picked up from Henry Bendel. I got something from Gucci and I got something from St. Laurent. Okay. So if you're interested in what that is all about, just keep watching. Okay guys, I'm going to start with some Henry Bendel pieces that I have. And really quick, we're going to do this as fast as possible. So of course I stopped in and the first thing I looked at, um, was some sunglasses. So let me show you the ones that I picked up. They look like, and you guys know they come in the hard case, and then they also give you the soft case. Now these are kind of like these round tortoise shell, and they have the gold arms on them. And they're pretty heavy. They're a pretty heavy, substantial glass. Um, what I liked about them was that I thought they kind of gave off this boho chic vibe. And what I don't like about them is this metal arm here. Like I tried it on a couple times in the store and I wasn't finding anything else I liked anywhere else and this was the closest thing that I could come to it. And so I kind of settled for these. But now that I found what I am actually looking for, these are actually going to go back. Um, they're really cute and I'll show you what they look like. They look like that, but they're not like right. And I actually found the Chloe ones and those are the ones that I like better. Um, I think these are really pretty, but I wanted metal frame and not so much the tortoise, but I wanted them to be round and kind of boho chic. So these are actually ones that I'm actually returning, but I did want to show them to you guys in case somebody else was interested in them. Um, Cause like I said, they are pretty cool. Um, they're really like a nice luxury pair of sunglasses at a really good price point, okay? So the next thing is, is I picked up some leather bracelets and these are kind of like these double wrapped leather bracelets and I got them in the navy with the gold hardware and it kind of looks like this and then I got it in like this kind of cornflower blue with the silver hardware and it kind of looks like this and what I love about these bracelets is that they also double as chokers so you can really put them on and wear them as a really cool choker. Um, if your neck isn't, you know, that big, they will, they will work that way. And let me show you how this one looks. This is pretty. I'm kind of like on this blue K. Well, I've, as I've been building my spring wardrobe, I've been doing it in color stories with that being what was leading the trend. So that is another piece I got. And then the final piece I got from... Henry Bindo are a pair of statement earrings that are very kind of minimalist. Um, they use just really linear lines with the circle here in the silver with the crystal and it looks really pretty on. Um, they hang really nice and long and they make a nice statement but they're not too big or bulky and they're not heavy. These also came in rose gold and I believe they came in yellow gold so I was excited to get those. Um, I like those a lot, all right? So the next thing is I went to a sunglass store called Optica. And if you look behind me, you'll see the bag. Um, and I went in there actually fixing my hair to look in the mirror, to keep it real. And I saw these sunglasses. And they actually come in a velvet case like this. And it's kind of like this deep burgundy velvet. And it's oh so luxurious. And when you open it, it looks like this. It says Gucci. And then the case in it, they give you like, you know, the cleaning cloth that's Gucci that's in there. Ow. And it gives you the soft case in the set and that also has the Gucci written on it in gold. And I found these. So these are, they kind of got this glitter um, kind of woven through the acrylic. It looks like it's kind of made into it, if you could see it. And it's in this like really hot fuchsia pink, um, but it's that dark fuchsia. It's kind of the exact same color as my jumbo. If you guys have been with me for a while, I um, actually unboxed a pink jumbo, I want to say maybe 
November, December, I can't remember, but this kind of um, matches it exactly. And they are round. Now, when I was in the Gucci store, I didn't really see these. I saw the square ones, but I will check the website to see if they sell it. Um, but I know there are a couple of retailers that do sell it. I want to say not sunglasses, uh, Solstice. Solstice sells these, I believe. Um, but these are really, really pretty. If you don't have an Optica, or you could try and see if Optica is online. I'll look for you guys to see what I can find for you. But these are really cool. And they have the gold GGs on the side. And they look like this. I thought they were really fun. So when I'm wearing, because you guys know I wear basic clothing. And so this is kind of a color story that I'm going to play with. I'm going to do pinks with um, reds. And, you know, in accessories, that is. So if I'm wearing white t-shirt, boyfriend jeans, or flare jeans, or whatever, I can do, like, pink fun sunglasses and the pink jumbo and add a little bit of color to um, the outfit, you know, if I'm wearing, like I said, just my basic clothing. Because we all know I really don't do much when it comes to the clothing pieces, okay? So moving along, the next thing I picked up are a pair of shoes from St. Laurent, Okay. And this will all make sense when I get ready to do like the full color stories of why I picked up what I picked up because I actually was building my wardrobe based off of trends that I really wanted to participate in, okay? So they give you um, the shoe taps as well as these really awesome dust bags that are absolutely beautiful. And I've got so much stuff here, so give me one second. And these are what I got. I got the Tribute Sandals in the denim in the lower heel with the platform and the reason why I picked these up guys is you guys know I'm usually always in flats but I decided that I really wanted to go back to wearing some heels and I've actually been wearing them you know mixing them in in my wardrobe and so I want comfortable heels that I can walk around in downtown in and these everybody knows you can walk in all day long they don't hurt at all and I'm kind of planning my spring and summer wardrobe that I'm coming out of the skinny jeans. I'm not going to be wearing them as much and I'm going to be wearing a lot more of the flare. And just like last year I did that, I wore a lot more flare. But I want to wear them with a heel which will make my legs not look so stubby because I'm really bottom heavy. I mean, I, I have really big thighs. And so the flare jeans kind of help slenderize you. And if you put a heel on with it, it makes you look even taller and leaner. So I'm all for any tips and tricks that will help in that department, honey. And so these right here are what I picked up. And so denim is such a strong trend right now. And you will see as I'm showing you different things throughout these videos, you will see where I was kind of going with this and how I was kind of building my wardrobe around it. But again, I think these are awesome. These were a great buy. And I think they had set had a sale actually. They had um, well, you know, we were using our reward cards and they also had, I want to say $200 off of a $800 purchase or something like that, or $300 off. I can't remember exactly, but it was a really good deal for the online one. So when you guys are getting those emails, if you know, you have a sex card or whatever, be sure to, um, open them because I would have never realized it, um, had I not opened it. Okay. So the next thing came in a box like this and it's got a pretty little bow on there. And let me open it. And what I got was, and this is actually, I got this for my husband, but you guys know we share belts. So if he gets a belt and I like it, I wear it if, you know, because I hate to say it, hell, I'm as big as he is, probably bigger. But um, so we ended up with this belt right here by the Saint Laurent, which is really, really cool. He has, I want to say they're the Wyatt boots. Um, in this color, so I think this would be really nice to wear with that and then the women also sell the Wyatt boots too Which I think I'm probably gonna eventually get someday But I love this belt. It's in that camel color suede or caramel color suede and I love the intricate detail of the The belt buckle here part and it's kind of it reminds me of the Gucci Dionysus bag But it's just a little bit more intricate and how it's made, um, as you can see with the YSL. I love it. And I know it came in smooth leather as well as um, black suede, black leather. And then it came with this being in like the aged gold. Um, but we really both liked this ruthenium, the dark. So I think this is really cool. Um, a nice piece to add to um, your wardrobe, you know, because I love the Gucci belt, I do. And I love, you know, some of the Louis Vuitton belts, but I kind of am feeling like I want a little something different. He already has a Hermes belt, um, so I thought this would be fun to get 
you know, something a little bit different, okay? So that is everything that I have for this video. So stay tuned for part two where we're going to do all of my Louis Vuitton purchases. So I'll see you guys in about two minutes.